Hi everyone! Welcome to this tutorial in which I'm going to show you how you can live create your camera signal using an Atomus Ninja 5 Plus with an Atomus Connect module and assimilate live looks. This workflow also applies to the Shogun Connect of course. First of all, apologies for the rather boring scene I have set up here, it'll serve the purpose however. Now let's look at what our image pipeline looks like. We do have a camera which shall remain nameless that sends an image via SDI to our Ninja 5 Plus, which again will output the image via NDI either through Wi-Fi or Ethernet. In LiveLux we will capture this NDI signal just like we would capture an SDI or HDMI signal. We can then live create it using various tools in LiveLux and even do a rudimentary green screen compositing if required. From there we can output the live image as SDI or straight from the GPU via HDMI or display port to a monitor. Or output it as NDI again and use OBS to live stream the signal or pipe it directly into Zoom for a remote client to watch. Now how do we set all this up? Let's start with the Atomos Ninja 5 and the Connect module. Make sure you're running the latest Atom OS and have the NDI HX2TX feature activated and installed. Information on how to do that can be found online. Links are in the description. Next, make sure you have the network features, namely Wi-Fi and Ethernet tabs, enabled and Atomos Cloud Studio disabled. Once that is all set, you can enable the NDI TX output here in the output tab, which will give you the NDI button in the upper left corner of the screen. As long as it's white, it's not outputting a signal. Tapping it once will turn it yellow, indicating that it's now outputting, but the signal is not captured anywhere. Once we have live looks up and running, this will turn red, indicating that the NDI stream is being captured somewhere. One more thing. When outputting NDI via Wi-Fi, it is suggested that you use a dedicated Wi-Fi 6 router for this. Otherwise, your image output might stutter or freeze. In those cases, it's better to connect it via Ethernet for a solid and stable connection. Let's do a quick test and fire up NDI Video Monitor, which you can get by downloading the free NDI tools from Newtex website. Up here, we can simply tell it to display any NDI stream it finds on the local network. And there we have our Ninja 5 Plus. Select the stream and here we are. A perfectly fluid image. And audio as well if we were recording some. Alright, now let's look at how to set up LiveLux. It's pretty straightforward. In the setup dialog we first go to the video I.O. menu. Make sure the NDI device is enabled and one input and one output channel are active. For the input we can specify the stream we want to capture right here. There's our NDI signal from the Ninja 5 Plus. Close the dialog and hit the big plus icon to create a channel. First we select our input, the NDI channel we just set up. Next we can tell LiveLux the characteristics of our signal, color space and EOTF. Right now I'll just leave them to the defaults as it won't matter in this particular setup. On the far right we can set an output. If I wanted to output straight to a monitor, I could set this to an SDI output using a Blackmagic Decklink or AJA Kona card, or even a dual head output straight from our GPU in case we have a second monitor attached to it. Or in our case, choose NDI as an output. Lastly, we need to decide whether we want to grade using the full 3 d LUT toolset or a restricted CDL toolset. In most cases, you will want the full 3D LUT toolset. Now simply hit OK and switch to the Color Effects tab. On the far left, we have several menus we can use to grade the image. Color wheels, curves, vectors, and we can also load a LUT on top of everything. Down here, we have texture effects like grain, vignette, and others. The Comp A and Comp B menus allow us to do three layer comps at green screen shoots for quick previs comps or insert watermarks. We do have a separate tutorial on that, find the link in the description. Via the top menu bar we can call up our scopes to properly judge the image or other tools to annotate the image for instance. All grades can be saved as 3D LUTs using the grade controller up here. They will be stored on disk according to the output path set up here and the 3 d LUT export settings over here. 
Setting those parameters here to 10 bit and a cube size of 33 will store the LUTs in a way that we can load them into most software's cameras and of course our Ninja 5 Plus itself. Okay, let's say we have dialed in our grade for this scene now. Where can we see the result outside of the LiveLux UI? Simple, in any app that supports NDI or a webcam like Signal. Like the NDI Video Monitor app. Currently, it still shows the NDI signal straight from the Ninja 5 Plus. But we can also simply tell it to show the output from LiveLux instead. We could also capture the output with OBS for instance, where we can then stream it onto YouTube, Twitch or other online streaming portals. Or Zoom, if we wanted to show the live signal to a remote client. For this, we can install a small tool, also part of the NDI tools from the new tech website, called NDI Virtual Input. This tool basically installs a virtual webcam driver and will give us this small icon up here in the taskbar and allow us to select an NDI stream. Once selected, it will convert this NDI stream into a webcam-like signal. So back in Zoom, we would just select the NDI webcam and have our NDI stream appear in any app that can take in a webcam signal this way. The possibilities are really endless. That's it for a quick introduction on how to work with an Atomus Connect module and the Simulate LiveLux using an NDI-based workflow. If you want to know more about LiveLux, check out our webpage or the dedicated LiveLux playlist with tons of tutorials on our YouTube channel. See you next time. Bye.